friends this evening. Rose Holland. It's you. Just give me some water. Sure thing, Rose. Hey, Rose. I heard a lot about you. Is it true you once poured a bucket of water on the mayor of Black River? Uh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> he must have been so mad. Yeah. Hey Shane, passing your drink over here. That it's Mrs. Backbiter here doesn't object. Anna, you don't know who this is? You mean it ain't Mrs. Backbiter? It's Madame Rose Holland. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, Mrs. Backbiter to me. You ever heard of anyone who kills like her? How about a drink, Mrs. Backbiter? No, thank you. That's pretty rude, Mrs. Backbiter. Are you trying to cause trouble? Anna, please stop this foolishness. I ain't talking to you, Jane. I'm talking to Madame Rose here. I'm minding my own business here, girly, so mind yours too. Excuse me? Mind yourself, I mind my own. Anna, put the gun down now. Come on, Madame Rose. Back your words, sweetheart. The scared little cat you are. Holy Scott! Heavens above! She drew first. I know, Rose. I'm so sorry you had to do that. I'm moving on from here. Sorry about this, buddy. It's okay, Rose. You did what you had to do. I'll take care of it. Oh my gosh! Is that Madame Rose Holland? My goodness. It is. I, I recognize her from, from, from the newspaper. She looks just like the drawing of her. Great Scott Heavens. What do we, what, what do, we do, Mike? Uh, just, just wait. Let me go talk to her. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, what? Are you Madame Rose Holland, the most famous female outlaw ever? Yeah, what about it? Oh, um... Nothing, just was curious. What are you here for today? I just came here today to drink water. Uh, oh, okay. Well, uh, Rose, we don't drink water here. We serve whiskey and beer. You may call me Madame Rose, and I came here to drink water, so I expect it. I don't drink alcohol. Uh, oh, okay, uh, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll go pick up water just for you, Madame. Oh, thank you. What was your name? Uh, Mikey, I'm one of the bartenders here. Well, thank you, Mikey. I'll be waiting here for my water. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. I'll, I'll get my bar hand here to get it for you. Listen, Joey. Go tell the marshal that Madame Rose Holland is in town. It, is, it, is it really her? Yes, boy. Go get the marshal now. Okay. Marshal! 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 Uh. Arthur Jarvis! Madame Rose Holland is here! Where? In the saloon! Are you... Are, are you gonna arrest her? 
Who told you it was Madame Rose Holland? Mikey did. He knows where her, her from the newspaper. All right then, let's go. Marshall, I, I can't believe the most famous woman outlaw ever in our town. What if our town arrests and hang her? We, we, we will be the most famous town in the country. Well, settle down now, Joey. I'm gonna see what's going on. She's in there, Marshall. Hi, Rose. Excuse me, it's Madame T. Wait a minute. Jarvis? Rose. Oh my gosh. Oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jarvis, it's you. It's been so long. How are you? Doing just fine, Rose. I'm the marshal of this here town. The marshal? Goodness. Out of all the men, I would have never guessed you to be that. Yeah, yeah, well. Listen, Rose. You come to this town to start trouble. No, Jarvis. Well, what are you doing here, then? Well, Marshal Jarvis Washington, I'm just waiting for my water. I'm afraid you should move on from this town, Rose. What are you talking about? You scare all of the ladies in this town, Rose. Even some of the boys and the young men. I don't need you causing a fuss here. Your public is a-gossiping already, as far as can be learned. Yeah, I guess I am. Well, uh, ain't that what you wanted back around five years ago? Top female crime dealer? The great heroine? The great mistress? The top? Gun woman. And it all what you wanted? I guess. Well, you don't sound as happy about it last time as the last time we spoke. How many ladies you shot dead now? Eight? No, no. There's one that you haven't heard of yet. I see. Well, I don't need any mothers or wives in this town to get killed. You understand? That's not why I come to this. Then why are you come to this town? I was looking for water. Well, there's all there's water all over. So how about you leave now? Come on, Jarvis. Aren't you free of sins yourself? I know your past. Well, Rose. We were a part of that old outlaw gang, but a lot has changed now. I'm the town marshal. All I care about now is my town's safety and dignity. Okay, but what can I do for you to let me stay in this town? Let you stay, huh? Yeah, is there any way? Well, there is one way. What is it? Well, the way is if you stop your outlaw's life and you become a society woman. A society woman? Yeah. And you surely ain't doing that, are you? Well, maybe I could. Really? Yeah. How did you get out of the crime life, Jarvis? Well, I quit them ways. Yeah, but how did you really quit it? Well, you remember when the gang was scattered after that store job in Tennessee? Mm hmm. I remember. I managed to f find Frank and Peter, and we ran into Saint Denis to get some supplies. But the word was ahead of us. You should have seen what we walked into. What happened? Numerous law officers ambushed us in the road. There was blood all over the ground, gun smoke all in the air. And did you hear about that little five-year-old girl? No. I threw up when I saw her on the ground. Oh my gosh, who did it? Who knows? 
all that aimless shooting, all those bullets flying, it could have been me, just as well as any other agent or gang member. Jeez. I escaped that desperate fight as a sole survivor. Frank and Peter weren't so lucky. I was alone and hungry, so I rode as far as my horse could ride, and that's when I stumbled across this town. They gave me the marshal job after the last one retired. Did anyone say anything? Nope. I successfully got out of the life. But now, I am willing to help you get out of the life. Are you in? Yeah, I'm in. Good. Go wait outside. I'm gonna drink a beer. Alright. One beer. Is she really the toughest woman to ever hold a gun? If by toughest you mean the best at shooting people, then yes. Thank you for getting her out of here, Marshal Jarvis. Washington, she, she would have ruined my place of business. No problem, Mikey. You just let me know if any other problems happen, such as incessant gunfire. Uh, w w w will do, sir. Miss Rose, now, it's pretty dark out, so I'll show you a place you can stay at for the night. Just follow me, and tomorrow, I'll start helping you with things, but tonight, get some rest at this little, uh, room that's up these stairs here. Now this is a room you can stay in for tonight. It's not great, but my town, all considering, this room is pretty darn fancy for it. You even got some vegetables here. You wanna eat vegetables? I know you don't really like drinking, but I'll come by tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Good night. All right, now Rose, <clears throat> first thing I'm gonna teach you is how to post mail like a proper civilian does. Marshal, Marshal. Huh? What? Someone's robbing the saloon right now. What? So Someone's right. robbing the saloon. I'll check it out. Hey, you, stop right there. Stop, right sir, there. sir, stop, stop. Oh, no. On your horse. I'm going. Stop. I demand you at once. This is Marshal Jarvis Washington of Van Horn Law Department. Stop your horse now. I am shooting you, Marshal. You outlaw, stop. Leave me alone. I don't want no trouble. I demand you to stop. Dang it. Should have cleaned my guns. I'm on all. You robbed that, that saloon. What's wrong with you? I demand you to stop. <sighs> Rose, you know what we're gonna do? Well. This horse appears to... Hey, horse. Out of here. Go. Get out of here, horse. Go. Move it. Move it. Move it. Uh, move it. Move it. Get the horse out of the way. Now. Where are you, outlaw? Just leave me be. I don't want no more trouble. Hands up. Who are you? Take me in and you'll find out. Tell me where the money is. You ain't gonna find it, it ain't here. If you don't tell me where the money is, you're gonna get this rifle 
upon your head. You ever heard of magic, Marshal? It's called no. misdirection. Money's not here. It was a delusion. Come on. An outlaw, huh? Tell you my name when you put me in a cell. Well, until then, uh, I'm a free man. As a marshal in the town of Van Horn, we don't have any jails in our town. You're gonna be tied up. Why do I have to be tied up? I'm cooperating. It don't matter. You robbed a saloon. You know how much money our town has? Almost none. What would happen if I returned the money? Well, you still have to suffer a fine at the very least. I'm poor, Marshal. Yeah, well, you should have thought about that. Spent all my money on college. College, huh? You a smart one, college man. Smarter than you'll ever be. <laughs> Holding up saloons for a living. Whatever you say. You think I held it up? Like I said, misdirection. Also known as magic, Marshal. Shut up, you drunkard. Drink, but I'm not done, Marshal. Well, you certainly act like a drunkard. All right, now you're gonna stay in here. No, uh, you'll be all right. Can I at least have my hat? No. Bless you, Madame Rose. Now, as we sit at this table, I, as the town marshal, am currently deciding what to do with the outlaw who held up the saloon. Now, one by one, I'm going to ask all of y'all what you think should be done with the outlaw, what his consequence punishment should be. Now, uh, Mr. Joey... I'm going to let you say first. What do you say? You never were a talker. Anyway, uh, Miss Rose, what do you say should be done with the outlaw? Um, he should be fined for $30. Fined for $30. And last but not least, what do you say should be done with the outlaw, Mr. Uh, Mackey? Uh, well, he took about $350 from the register. Uh, I think he should come here and work under me and work his debt off. Hmm. Well, certainly these are more sensible options than mine, because personally, I wanted to hang the outlaw, but... I know that robbing, robbing a saloon is a little harsh for a hanging. Yeah, he, he could have just been in need. All he had to do was ask, I would have gave to him, but I, I believe second chances, so I don't think a hanging is worth a saloon robbery. Well, well I see what you mean, sir. Meeting adjourned. I've decided what we'll do. Well, Joey, we're gonna need to pick up the crate of oranges tomorrow so we can get our food going back over here. We're running low. Yeah, you're right. Would you make that ride to Strawberry for me? Yeah, sure, I can. Alright, so, uh, would you, what would you think about Miss Rose? 
Uh, I would I would say she's a fine woman, but you know you know how uh, women can get when they're rough. I don't pretend to like it. Are you telling me you're a soft man? Well, I, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm soft. I'm just. Uh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. You let her intimidate you. I I try not to, Mike. But I just. I just, I just get so intimidated so easily, Mike. I, I just can't. You know she's killed nine women. Well, golly, I mean, at least she hasn't killed a man. <sighs> women don't kill men. Never know, Mike. Never know. Why is she only choosing women? Why wouldn't she do it then? That's weird. I don't know, Joey. Don't you be going soft on me. I, I try not to, Mike. But I'll, I'll, I'll do say there's something uh, odd about this, uh, that Madam Rose. Uh, what, what's so odd? Well, there m must be a reason why she must be killing these women. Don't you think? I don't... These times, I don't think you need much of a reason. Well, it's not like every killer out there has no reason to kill. What, you think that's because... They were prettier than her? I don't know. Well, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not sure. I really can't put it together. It's just odd that she seems to only target uh, the, the ladies here. Mm -hmm. Maybe she wanna be different. I mean, soft men like you are safe, Joey. You have a good night. Um, I'll expect the delivery tomorrow. Of course, Mike. All right, have a good one. All right. <clears throat> Hello. Yeah, it's early, yeah, but Well, time for you to get a rise on society, Rose. I hope you understand. Come on. Now, Rose. Back in the days of when we rode in that outlaw gang, things were very different. That leader we had, he taught us that we can just shoot people just for little reasons. But that's not what people do in society. When you have a disagreement with someone, you know what you do? Shoot them in the face? No. You have a reasonable conversation and you come to a common ground acceptance and a common response. Now, in a civilized society, you must always remember disagreements are just disagreements. You don't kill someone over a disagreement. You understand? Second, Marshal. What do you mean, one second? So, how's Rose doing? She's doing all right. She's just having an adjustment, you could say. I can tell. You hear that, Marshal? Yeah. Might want to check that out. What's going on out there? Oh, well, seems like a normal day in the town. Excuse me, where do you think you're going? Hey! Stop! I demand you stop! You understand? Come on, Rose. Let me go. Draw. Oh, whoa! Ah! Ah! <sighs> now. Alright, you're going back to the room. You're going to stay there until further notice. Sorry about that, Marshal. Sorry about fast y'all dueling, huh? 
I gotta deal with the town's drama. You stay here. Marshal. Hey, you. What are you doing out of the room? I got a job here. Oh, right. I forgot about that. Huh. Well, you better be doing good at this job here. Rose told your, uh, little deputy friend to come let me out. Deputy? Well, she said he was. Who's the deputy? I don't know. I don't have a deputy. I'm the only martial lawman in this town. That, that don't matter now. Mm. Can I get you anything to drink? I'll take a whiskey. There you are. Uh, thanks. Hope you didn't poison it. So why would I do that? Well, you did try to fast draw do me earlier. I didn't try to hit you. Is that so? Like I said, if I wanted you dead, you'd be dead. So you start a gun duel with a man just so you can try and miss him? Indeed. Is that so? Uh oh, uh, Rose, what are you doing here? Um, um, since I'm trying to become a normal person, I decided I wanted to try some beer. Oh, okay. Well, I know everyone. Gotta taste it for the first time ever. How's it taste? Um, it's gross. Oh, well. Since when do you try beer? It's not for everyone. I'm trying to become normal. Thought you drank whiskey. Um, I. I've never drank it either in my life. Till now. Till now. Yeah. See, she's. She's had very bad ways. But she's trying to get to normal ways. Of, as if she were a normal townswoman. But she's got a long way to go before she gets there. Well, I can see that. Anyway, I'll take another whiskey. Good night, Rose. Good night. I'm starting to feel a weird feeling, right? So how's Rose doing? Uh, she's doing good. She used to carry two heavy metal pieces on her back, but I convinced her to get those two pieces off. Now she's not armed if she were a soldier. So that's good. Does she still carry that pistol? Yes, she does. And I think it's good to carry a pistol, though. Just in case. You never know if you'll need it. She's always been one to kill women. Yes, she has. I saw a piece on the newspaper of her most recent killing. Some newspapers said that it was cold blood, but some others said that it was self defense. I don't know which one to believe. Talking about the one in Side of Roads. That's right. But you know, I'm starting to feel a weird feeling that I can't quite explain. Whoa! Uh, excuse me, Madam Rose Paula. Would you, uh, mind if I ask you a question? Um, 
Sure, go ahead, Joey. Who would you say was the most handsome outlaw you've ever came across? Hmm. I'll tell you the second most handsome, Arthur Morgan. What? Did Did you ever try to marry him? <laughs> no, of course not. Arthur was my friend. Well, I take it that you don't want me to ask you the first most handsome again. Yeah. Well, on another note, is it true that you once robbed a stagecoach just by pretending to be a lost little girl? Yes, it's true. I stole five hundred dollars from that, from the from those rich people. Well, dang. You know, you are a pretty woman. Wanna get married? I'm sorry, but no, you're clearly a man who can't handle a woman. Please get away from me. I won't ever marry you. Oh. Okay. That, that doesn't make me sad. No. I'm glad you responded. Uh, I'm not sad. Oh, I'm not sad. Okay, I need to leave now. <laughs> okay, I need water. I'm sorry, Rose, I don't have any water. Um, but you should. It's a saloon. You need water to, like, wash your hands and wash the cups. Uh, it's in the bucket. Dirty. Then, get me water. It's not safe to drink, Rose. <sighs> but if you insist. There, there's a cup of water. Thank you. And you're right. Joey ain't a man. I feel bad for the way I worded it, but um, it's the truth. So you told me I could leave here soon. When can I leave? You know I need to get back to Jack. Um, not yet. It's getting harder to write him a letter all the time. <sighs> He's gonna come find me. comes back. Listen. Jack's ready for us. He's up at he's up at Fort Mercer. The station. Whatever that place is called, I don't remember. He wrote me in a letter, but I lost it. It's right okay. up right up near Emerald Ranch. You know the place? Ah uh, yes it's good. Alright. I'll distract the and you He said he's gonna be waiting for us. Yeah, we'll get out there soon. Alright. You know what you to got do. My guns? Yeah, they're in the back. Okay, good, good, good. I got you some water, Rose, instead of this dirty water. Thank you. People. Oh, Rose. Oh. Tonight I was thinking you want to learn more about uh, what you do in the civilized society. I got something set up. It's something to do with paper. Marshal, she don't want anything to do with your civilized world. Wait, what? Ah! 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 Rose! Rose! Ah! Ah! 
what just happened? Uh, Rose. Uh, Rose. Uh, Brad. It was Brad. I should have killed him. Brad. Brad. Uh, get this rope off me. Uh, uh, no. No. I can't believe this. Gosh dang it. Alright, Rose, hitch up. It's good to be back. Oh. Jack. Is that you? How's it going, brother? How are you? I'm alive. Uh, I had some trouble. Did you get the bag? Yeah, I got it. Good. Where's Bob and Ernie? Uh, I sent them to the store so they could go and get us some supplies. We're running low. We're gonna need supplies. We need to get out of here as soon as I get back. That sure well, is, that. That Marshall's gonna be hot on our ass. Marshall, what, what did y'all do? Man, we had some trouble. That's how I. That's why I needed to leave the bag. I had. I had Rose write you that letter of where to get it. Oh yeah, I, I forgot about the letter. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, they'll be back here very soon. They better be. Need some food. I haven't eaten days. I told him to bring cigarettes, meat, some drinks. Good, I need cigarettes. Uh, uh, we just ran out of tobacco, so we had to buy some pre-packed. All right, Rose. Hmm? Are you all right? Yeah. Uh, I just feel. Weird. I feel like mm -hmm. I shouldn't be alive. Hello. Marshall. What the? Brad. Hi. Hi. Y'all, y'all, y'all to look behind you. Just leave, Marshall. Just leave. I don't want to hurt you anymore than we did. Yeah. Well, I want to hurt you, Brad. Just leave. <laughs> what the? Brad. <laughs> Look behind you. She was never on your side, you fools. Jack. Brad. We just need to get out of this alive. Hey, Jack. Get back. Jack, just drop your gun. Good morning, you, Jack. You have five seconds. Are you done? Good. Now, where is the money stashed? It's at that place that you caught me at. It's an abandoned fort. All right. All I ask is you let me and Jack go. Oh. You are staying with us until we get the money and know it's with us. Understand? Good work, Rose. Better keep your end of the bargain, Marshall. If all the money's there, shut up, Jack. Now, if all the money is there, you will be let free. That is my personal promise. Now, let's go get that money. 
think it's funny, Rose? Hmm? I do think it's funny. Now, don't break your neck. Now I'm gonna go see where the money is. Not under there, Marshall. But where uh, is it? Harlot. Don't tell is under the under the corner. There it is. I got it. If he is a good lawman, he will let us go. Well, boys. No, no love, it's good. I did personally promise that I'm letting y'all go. Go back to your town, Marshal. Leave us alone. I will never forgive you. Well. Let's go, Jack. You're just gonna let give them their money like that? We have more. You gonna leave? We have our lives, Jack. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. More money to be made. Ah! Ah! Get him! God damn it, Jack! No! That's what happened to your friend. Now go. Don't let me see you again. Mr. Jack here. I understand, Rose. Mr. Jack had it coming. And it's simply what happens. And well, uh, would you care uh, for me to take it home? Off we go. Say, you ever heard of New York City? I have not. Hmm. Well, I hear it's a good place to vacation at. I'd love to try it out. Yeah. In the meadow below the mountain peak, the perfect place for lovers when they play hide and seek. There's a covered bridge at Cripple Creek where the horses always stop. Between the tree house and the covered bridge, that's how Mom won Pop by making love in the country. in the trees till you're up to your knees in love there are roses on the trellis and the scent of new mown hay the clinging vine is jealous on the fence across the way there's a great big yellow moon above and a breeze to sing a song between the roses and the yellow moon a fellow can't go wrong if he makes love in the country And the flowers and the trees Till you're up to your knees in love 